Sometimes you're just not in the mood for a lengthy read, and that's okay. Best-selling author Chantelle Gurton joins us this morning with some great suggestions for essays and stories. Love the collection that you've put together here. Yeah, I thought, you know, as some people are returning to the office and maybe starting to commute again, maybe it's nice to switch things up and have something to read that is achievable in, you know, a night or two um, instead of endeavoring an entire novel. So that's what I picked this month. Okay, what are we starting out with? So we're starting out with Crying in H Mart. So this is a story, uh, a collection of essays um, from a Korean American author, Michelle Zahner. And uh, what I love about this collection is that she takes two things, uh, grief and adds humor to them. And I think whenever you can do that combination really well, it's just an exceptional read. And so H Mart, I love the title of this, but H Mart is a, a, like a Korean grocery store. So that kind of gives you an idea. And we all know that feeling when you've had like something terrible happen and you're just like in the middle of a grocery aisle and that's where it all comes to hit you. So that's the first story in the collection. And, um, and, and like I said, it's just sadness and, humor together, which is really uh, a great read. Okay, the next one is uh, Toward the Danger. So much buzz about this book. Yes, okay, so Run Towards the Danger is by Sarah Polly. Remember her maybe from um, Road to Avonlea. She's an incredible actor and director. director she yeah. lives in Toronto, yes. So this is a collection of essays that she pulled together that she had worked on for many, many years and why she sort of decided to, I mean, why Rent is called Run Toward the Danger is that she suffered from a uh, terrible concussion and during her recovery, which took four years, she wasn't getting better and then she saw a specialist who said to her, instead of running away from those activities that you're afraid of, you need to run toward them. And something in her just like twigged and she thought, okay, and that sort of became the impetus. So that it, she talks about childbirth, um, lots of different growing up, her family, um, dealing with a concussion, all different types of essays, and they're beautifully written. So mm -hmm. she's also a wonderful writer. And the big essay that she writes about that's getting so much talk is, is her, her encounter with Jean Gomeshi. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's definitely one, yeah. Okay, let's go to a lighter read. I, I've read this book, I read it years ago, Uncommon Type by Tom Hanks. Yeah! Love I these stories. Is, I mean, we talk about Tom Hanks and Ann Patchett and their tie, I think, in that all the time, but these stories, so this is fiction, so Tom Hanks wrote these 17 short stories, and they're really, what he does so well is he captures a character and makes you believe that that person is real. and. He really gets inside, like, what would make that character act that way? And I think it's a great insight into why he's such a great actor, because he can take on the persona. And it's like he really has a knack for understanding what makes people act the way they do. And every single story has something to do with a typewriter. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Our last one, we got about a minute left, is called Big Reader. Yeah, by Susan Olding. So she's Canadian. And this is a collection of essays. And... They are also, there are a lot about her life. Um, one of them, the first one in the, the book collection is interesting. So it deals with an extramarital affair and she relates that to Anna Karenina. And so she has this way of relating things in her life, life to literature, things she's read and tying them all together. So it's not just this straight sort of um, memoir. It's sort of a little bit more in depth and takes a look at literature and her life together in a really interesting way. And uh, I really oh, enjoyed that. that okay. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a book that would lead you on to more books and more stories. Great selection yes. here. Oh, more to add to my to be read pile. <laughs> but thank you, <laughs> Chantel. We'll get all your uh, links up on our social media, chch.com. Thanks, Annette.